Hello, and welcome to Pastor's Take. This series deals with some of life's hardest questions. We're here with Pastor Marty, who's been hearing and dealing with many of these questions for years in his time as a leader, teacher, and pastor. So let's start with the first and perhaps the broadest of the questions we've received. Pastor Marty, where are we to find the answers to life's hard questions? Well, Chris, it really depends on the question. (laughs) There's a lot of questions we have in life. There's a lot of very hard questions in life. And as a kid growing up, you know, I'd go to my mom, I'd go to my dad, I'd go to a friend, a teacher, a book, an article. And uh, I still do, depending on the question. But what I've found over the years is that the hardest questions in life are really theological questions, spiritual questions. Like, is there really a God? If there's a God, how can I get right with that God? What's going to happen to me when I die? What's my purpose? Why, If God is a loving God, why is there so much suffering in the world? Those kinds of questions. For those kinds of questions, the only place to go to is to God. And God gives us his word in the Bible. In 2 Timothy 3.16, he tells us that all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. That's powerful. In Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Well, with that said, there are a lot of different interpretations about even what's in the Bible. And the reason that is, the reason why we have so many different denominations and so many different understandings of the answers to those hard questions in life is really based on how we as human beings have been formed in life. Because however we're formed, whatever we've experienced and been taught in life, that's what shapes our presuppositions about life. And so we can't help but going into different things that we we see, read, or experience with a presupposition that makes us really want to conform what we're seeing to what we already understand. And so some of us go to the Bible and we want to find in the Bible that which affirms what we already believe, rather than using the Bible as our touchstone and saying, God, speak to me and conform what I believe uh, to what you have to teach me in, in my life. So with that said, everything we're going to be talking about in this series of, of hard questions, the best place to go, the only place to go for the hardest of life questions is the Bible, God's Word. That's my take.